Welcome to my channel, in this video, we are going to see, how to create the transparent search box using HTML and CSS, look at the final demo, in which we can see the search box with search icon in the middle of the browser with the image in the background. When we open the demo in the mobile view below 425 pixels, we can see the search box occupies fully and fits into the browser nicely. For demo files, you can visit my GitHub account, where you can clone it or download the files. I will leave a link below this video, check it out. Let's get started with HTML structure. Create the wrapper development with search box development in it. Inside that create the input element. Let's open the HTML structure in the browser. Use the placeholder attribute to set the default input value. Now let's get started with CSS, by including its link in the head section of the HTML document. For this demo, I am going to use the Roboto Google fonts. Look for the Roboto font family and import it into the CSS file. Now reset the default margin and padding values of all HTML elements to zero. And use the Roboto font family. Set the background image to the wrapper div element, pass the image into the URL method. We can see the image, which is not fully occupied. Set the 100% width and height. Even then the image is not occupied fully, now change the height unit from percentage to VH, where VH is viewport height. Stop the repeating of the image. VH unit divides the browser into 100 equal parts. Change the height value and see how the VH property works. Using the background position property place the image in the top center.
Instead of using background position property separately, we can pass its value into the background property itself. Use background size property, so that the image occupies fully. Now let's place the search box div element in the center of the browser. To place the element, vertically and horizontally in the center, we have many different methods. In this demo, I will use the CSS Flexbox concept to place the search box in the center of the browser. First, turn the wrapper div element into flex container by using display property. Then search box div element becomes the child element to it. Now use the justify content property to place the search box horizontally in the center. Next use the align items property to place the search box vertically in the center. Set the 50% width and position relative to the search box develop. Now by targeting the input attribute, style the input. Set the 60 pixels of the padding right value. I will explain the reason for this in the later of this video. Here padding and border values are not included in the width. So use the box sizing property, so that this property includes the padding and border values in the width. To create the transparent background use the RGBA method. Here A stands for alpha or opacity. Set the alpha value to 0.3. Use the outline property to remove the blue border around the input field. Now change the color of the placeholder value. WebKit, Moz and MS are used for browser compatibility.
For the search icon, I am going to use the font awesome icons. First, include the CDN link. Then search for the icon and include it into the HTML file. Now place the icon in the top right of the input field. Here the icon is relative to the search box. Now let's go back to the input field. Here we have given the 60 pixels of the padding right value to input. See the icon is placed in the padding value. This avoids the overlapping of the text. Now let's make the search box responsive. First, add the responsive meta tag in the head section of the HTML file. Then write the media query for the 425 pixels, and set the width to 95%. Thank you for your attention, I hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and ask me anything in the comments section, see you in another video.